This is the University of California, Riverside, one of the 10 campuses in the University of California system. UC Riverside is a top tier research institution that prides itself on the opportunities its students can pursue here. In the heart of Southern California, Riverside is not only a bustling city, but conveniently close to the coast, mountains, and desert destinations. It's a multicultural hub where the sun never seems to stop shining. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and for the next half hour, we're gonna learn what makes this campus so special. First and foremost, by meeting real UCR students and hearing their stories. They'll discuss academics and the research opportunities for both undergraduate and graduate students. But we'll also learn about all the outside of the classroom experiences that make UCR distinct among California public universities. Welcome to the University of California, Riverside. This is the College Tour. To learn about the city of Riverside, we're gonna chat with Kaylee. She's a sophomore majoring in biology from Arcadia, California. And as you'll see, Kaylee has a long history with UCR and wants to share some of her favorite aspects of Riverside the city of arts and innovation. So let's dive in. We can't wait to hear all about it. Take it away, Kaylee. Thanks, Alex. Hi, I'm Kaylee, a second year biology major here at the University of California, Riverside. Both of my parents attended UCR, so coming to UCR felt like coming home. The moment I set foot on campus, I knew I belonged. I'm so honored to have the chance to carry on and show my school spirit by being a UCR Traditions Keeper. A Traditions Keeper is someone who works to complete a list of traditions in order to promote school spirit. UCR was founded in 1954, so we have at least 54 tasks to complete. These range from events in academic achievement, showing UCR pride, and exploring the city of Riverside. The community at UCR is unparalleled, both on and off campus. I've made so many new friends and found new things to do and places to explore when I'm not busy studying. The Mission Inn, a downtown historic hotel, is my favorite place to visit during Christmas. The lights and the atmosphere of Riverside make it one of the traditions I look forward to most each year. There are so many exciting things to do in the Riverside area, from the Mission Inn to the many museums located in the heart of Riverside. UCR Arts has so many fantastic exhibits, as well as the California Museum of Photography, all with a rich history to go alongside it. I've learned to open my eyes to new opportunities and take in the beauty of the campus and the city. I can't wait to keep exploring Riverside and what UCR has to offer. Whatever major you choose, the city of Riverside and UCR has a place for you. Back at you, Alex. Wow, Kaylee, looks like there is a lot to do in Riverside and the Traditions Keeper program sounds like a great way to plan some weekend excursions out into the city. And when you consider every UCR student can ride public transit for free, every student should absolutely be out exploring this amazing city. Thanks, Kaylee. To share about the vibrant campus life at UCR, we're gonna hear from Josh, a fourth year double major in education and media and cultural studies. He has been involved actively in planning events and activities here at UCR, including concerts you would not believe happened on a college campus. Tell us all about them, Josh. What's up everybody? After choosing what university I want to attend, it came down to what school could offer me both an amazing college experience and education. After discovering UC Riverside and what it had to offer through its events and organizations, I knew it was exactly what I was looking for. That brings me to ASPB, or the Associated Students Program Board. Known for its campus entertainment here at UCR, they plan all school-wide events for the entire school year. Before even stepping foot onto campus, I knew I wanted to be a part of the team who brought forth events for all students to enjoy. During my first year, I attended huge campus social events such as block party, homecoming bonfire, winter solstice, film premieres, and lectures. After applying at the end of my first year, I went ahead and became a volunteer for the concerts division. This began my journey here at ASPB. 
One year later, I became the director of concerts where I worked alongside my co-director to plan small and large-scale concerts and other music revolved events. I worked with agencies, managements, and independent artists to bring up performers such as Role Model, Alt Bloom, M. Byhold, Oro Solido, JID, and Baby Keem. UCR also offers a wide selection of club events and athletic games for all to enjoy. Whether you're cheering on one of our many sports teams or you're dancing the night away at one of our cultural celebrations, our Highlander pride and spirit is showcased at every single event. This chapter of my life is coming to a close as I enter my final year at UCR, but I'm beyond grateful for all the experiences and opportunities that have been offered to me. I'm excited for the upcoming school year as I serve as the vice chairperson for ASPB and work towards a career in the live music and entertainment industry. Alex, back to you. These concerts sound amazing, Josh. We don't have the time to share all the incredible artists and guest speakers that have been brought to UCR, but rest assured that as a student, your campus entertainment options will never disappoint. Thanks for sharing, Josh. UC Riverside is a great option for transfer students to consider. To share with us about her experience as a transfer is Valerie, a fourth year biochemistry student from Los Angeles. In addition to the normal stressors that a college student faces, Valerie is also the mother of a four-year-old son. The mic is all yours, Valerie. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everybody. Choosing UCR was a no-brainer after realizing how easy it was to transfer. As a single mom of a four-year-old son and a biochemistry major, I wanted to choose a school that provided a smooth transition into a rigorous academic world. Before transferring, I was overwhelmed with applications, let alone how to pay. What helped me most was UCR's website. It's full of checklists, important dates, and information. It helped inform me of class credits that transferred over and when to sign up for social clubs. The website also has access to advisors for specific majors at different colleges at UCR. My College of Natural and Agricultural Sciences advisor helped guide me and made sure I got into all of my classes. The Financial Aid Office offered seminars for transfer students that would show how to fill out forms and notify us of scholarships at UCR. Needless to say, the transferring was easy peasy as my son would put it. The best part about the entire process was the personal tour given by my professor, now a good friend. There's a group on campus called Our Kids for student parents. They provide a family-friendly environment for studying and having fun. Another resource that Our Pantry helps all low-income students, parents or not, by distributing food among other things. There's also the UCR Wellness Center called The Well, which helps you stay in good health both mentally and physically. Balancing life is tough, but UCR is a school that can help make that simpler, from providing ample resources to something as small as bringing my son to class. I've been given nothing but opportunities to help me be successful here at UC Riverside. Any Hoosers, back to you, Alex. That was inspiring. Inspiring to hear Valerie and it looks like you are having a great time being able to bring your son to classes and events on campus. Maybe someday he'll choose UCR too. Thanks again for sharing. Let's meet Susie, a senior from Oceanside, California, majoring in sociology with a minor in Latin American studies. Not only has Susie capitalized on all the academic support needed to do well in her courses, but she's also been able to teach a class on her own. Susie, you can't wait to hear all about it. Take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. My name is Susie, and I am a first-generation college student. I identify as Chicana, and upon transferring to UCR, I knew that I had limited time here. So I made it a priority to connect with faculty and campus support services, one of them being the Mellon Mays Undergraduate Fellowship. They have been able to connect me with a faculty mentor, and she has been able to guide me through the confusing world of research. One conversation I particularly recall having is how to conduct an ethnographic interview in a way that would not feel forced. My mentor advised me to approach it as a conversation with elements such as open-ended questions, listening, and following up with questions. As a sociology major, most of my courses incorporate large essay assignments. 
I find it challenging to brainstorm because I get caught up in refining my ideas before fleshing them out. Luckily, the Academic Resource Center offers 50-minute writing sessions, which you can utilize at any point throughout your writing process. It's great to explain your ideas to someone and have them ask questions or make suggestions about how you can craft a stronger argument. During my first quarter here at UCR, I was able to connect with the Office of Student Engagement and I was able to learn about our courses. We are one of the few UCs that offers students the opportunity to teach a class about any topic that they are passionate about. I will be teaching my course this fall and I'm most excited about facilitating meaningful class discussions. I hope that you connected with some of the experiences that I shared today, and I'm excited for you to become a UCR Highlander. Back to you, Alex. Wow, Susie, that is incredible. I'd love to be part of that course. Thank you for the tips on the various ways that UCR can help students succeed, and the best of luck to you as you finish up your time at UCR. Take care. UCR is classified as a tier one research institution, meaning that research is a primary focus for both students and faculty here. To share with us about research is Megan, a senior environmental engineering major from Fontana, California, who's been able to do some groundbreaking research alongside some of the brightest minds in the field. Megan, please share with us what you've done. Take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. Ever since I was a child, I've loved spending time in nature, whether I was growing vegetables in my family garden or playing in the grass with my tortoises. I developed a respect for the environment and the natural resources it provides. I gravitated towards the field of environmental engineering as a means to protect it. I was drawn to the University of California, Riverside, because over half of its undergraduate class identifies as first generation like me, and over half of UCR engineering students secure research or internship opportunities by the end of their senior year. After being accepted, I enrolled in a summer bridge program. This allowed me to live in the dorms, get a jump start in extracurriculars, and start taking classes before my freshman year officially began. I've taken on many roles over the years as peer mentor at the Academic Resource Center, intern for the Environmental Protection Agency and the City of Riverside, president of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers at UCR, and above all else, a Highlander. UCR's engineering curriculum allows students to apply lessons from lectures to a practical hands-on scenario. Every student is encouraged to connect with a faculty member and pursue research. Last spring, I participated in a research project exploring ozone exposure levels of neighborhoods in Riverside. I was paired with two graduate students, and together we conducted field measurements, modeled the results, and wrote a research paper. Being able to develop these technical skills while still in college has prepared me to hit the ground running when I get into the workforce. I intend to make the most of my last year at UCR and grow into an engineer that will help humanity forge a better, more sustainable future. Thank you for listening to my story, and back to you, Alex. That is so cool, Megan, that you've been able to work on those projects with opportunities for both undergraduates and graduate students to do research. The experiences you'll gain here at UCR will definitely set you up for success. Thanks again, Megan. Students from all over the world are drawn to UC Riverside. And now we're gonna hear from Marvin, a senior English and creative writing major who came all the way from Berlin, Germany. Let's learn a bit about Marvin's journey to UCR and his experiences while here. Take it away, Marvin. Thanks, Alex, for the intro and for making all of this happen. As a first-generation student born and raised in Berlin, Germany, it's unbelievable to have experienced so much of what UC Riverside has to offer. This is not only accredited to my academic advisor, the various resources for transfer students, but also to my mentors in the honors program who helped me develop my capstone research project. Since research is such a core value of the UC Riverside education, it is not only found in STEM majors, but also in the field of humanities and arts. My double major in English and creative writing seamlessly aligned with the outset of the honors program to develop a published research project during the final two years at the university. From the options to produce a research paper, lab experiment, experiential learning, 
or creative work, I decided on the latter. The program has provided unique opportunities for support through the Howard Hayes Junior Scholarships Disbursement, research tools, and honors exclusive classes. Furthermore, one gets to engage with a faculty member over the entire duration of the program. The mentor-mentee relationship enriches the outcome and provides an outstanding foundation for further steps in academia. After all, English is my second language, and without the support system here at UCR, none of this would have been possible. Not only has the Transfer First program provided me with a head start after transferring, but also the logistical skills of my academic advisor have made the ambitious goal of finishing two majors in two years possible. All of this shows you why UCR is internationally recognized for its research opportunities and the global impact of that research. I can't wait to show the world the writer I have found in myself here at UCR. Let there be light and spotlight back on you, Alex. Thank you for sharing your experiences, Marvin, and thank you for reminding us that research is not just a focus in the sciences, but the humanities as well. With a double major and your research as part of the honors program, you're definitely making the most of your time here at UCR. So thank you for making time for us to share your story. Thanks again. Let's get to know Patrick, a current fourth year student in UCR's School of Medicine and a 2018 graduate from UCR with a biology degree. He comes from the adjacent city of Moreno Valley and wanted to attend medical school to give back to his local community. Patrick, please tell us all about it. Hi Alex, thanks for having me. Growing up just five miles from UC Riverside meant I already had strong roots to the area. When picking different universities, UC Riverside remained my top choice for its affordability as well as being close to home and family. As a first generation student from an immigrant family, learning about the mission of the school to serve underserved communities like my own meant an opportunity to give back to a community that raised me and make a difference. This wouldn't have been possible without the Academic Resource Center and its tutoring programs as well as the Health Professions Advising Center, which provides professional counseling as well as advice. They even paired me with a student role model to guide me through my pre-medical pathway. As a medical student, I've worked on the front lines of COVID, helped vaccinate the community, worked at local free clinics and hospitals, and ultimately found my calling and career. This is all possible thanks to UC Riverside's focus on recruiting future doctors who come from the communities they understand and wish to serve. Being immersed in service work as well as free clinics affirmed my desire to come back to this community and bring back high quality medical care. Due to the support and focus UC Riverside has on first generation students and immigrant families, students with backgrounds like my own can achieve anything. Let's check up on our next segment. Back to you, Alex. Patrick, you are an inspiration and we are so excited to see what you accomplish next. Like Patrick, many others attend UCR to bring knowledge and experience back to their families or communities. Hence, why UCR has been the top school in the country for what's called social mobility for three years in a row. In a nutshell, social mobility means you're able to propel yourself and your family upwards, socially and financially. And UCR has a proven track record of being able to do just that for its students. Thanks again, Patrick, for sharing your story. That was awesome. UCR is home to some incredible faculty, including multiple Nobel Prize winners. To tell us about some faculty that he's enjoyed working with, let's meet Dave. A fourth year bioengineering major, he's worked with some truly world-class faculty, so let's hear all about it. Take it away. Thanks, Alex. I've always had a strong interest in chemistry and biology. This, coupled with a desire to build and create things, led me to enroll at UCR to pursue academic research. The faculty here at UCR are amazing. They realize learning happens not just in the lecture hall. In bioengineering, associate professor and undergraduate advisor, Dr. William Grover, hosts open office hours for students to come in and chat, while also giving career guidance. During the COVID pandemic, Dr. Grover mentioned me and others through the process of building and presenting our own projects. The pandemic also caused me and many other students to miss out on in-person labs. Dr. David Cocker, professor and chair for the Chemical and Environmental Engineering Department at UCR, saw this gap in lab skills. He sought to address this through the CEE Lab Olympics. 
an event for chemical and environmental engineering students to learn lab skills and procedures while participating in competitions. This event directly improves students' abilities to carry out experiments in their lab courses and even their research. Dr. Andrew Sanders and Teresa Salavato are two staff members that carry out vital archival work at the UCR Herbarium. Their philosophy is simple. Any interested individual can volunteer, no experience required. As a result, students have had the opportunity to contribute to the digital archives of the various California plant species. Aside from the work, the Herbarium staff's warm personalities and wit make working and learning a wonderful experience. Your education at UCR is not just in the classroom. It's in lab spaces, seminars, symposiums, and most of the time, just simple conversations with the professors and staff. It's because of them that me and many others have been able to truly shine and pursue our goals. They truly make UCR. Class dismissed. Over to you, Alex. Dave, what truly fascinating professors. The opportunities sound amazing and students taking those courses and doing research in those laboratories must absolutely love it. Keep up the great work and thanks again, Dave. UC Riverside is an incredibly diverse campus, really a nationwide trendsetter in terms of resources and support services for all sorts of students. To share with us about UCR's commitment to diversity and finding community here, we're gonna hear from Dwayne, a third year English and creative writing major from Pomona, California. You're up, Dwayne. I appreciate that, Alex. I want something more for myself, and I felt like the University of California at Riverside could make that a reality. The passion of my foster father played a role in me switching my major to English during my transfer process. During that time, I leaned heavily on my community to help me continue my education. UCR's African Student Program and their Guardian Scholars Program helped me fill that community before I even arrived. UCR's Guardian Scholars Program is dedicated to serving this foster youth. I never realized the population I was truly a part of until I met this dad. The Guardian Scholars Program convinced me to pursue creative writing along with my English degree to fully explore what I love. Luckily, they had a connection with a professor on campus who is an accomplished writer that mentors me. The deep relationship they helped with students in the past was beneficial in helping me decide what I wanted for my own future. The African Student Program's dedication to have its scholars engaged with the campus is unique in their approach. The events held by the program are always influenced by community and friendship. Beyond ASP, there are centers for students with different ethnic and cultural backgrounds. My love for writing and the impact professors have had on me have influenced me to pursue a graduate degree. I hope to influence the next generation through teaching. The mentors I have made along my journey here at UCR have influenced me to want to help the next group of scholars. Who even knows, I might pursue my doctor here at Riverside. Flying it back to you, Alex. Thank you, Dwayne, for sharing. UCR has really stepped up the game, leading with actions and not just words, by creating resource centers across campus that are meant to help students succeed academically and celebrate our differences and what makes us unique. Thanks for telling us about where you've found community here, Dwayne. That was fantastic. Wellness is becoming more and more of a priority on college campuses, and UC Riverside offers a state-of-the-art recreation center to help students embrace this wellness. We're gonna hear from Alfred, a psychology and sociology double major from Taiwan, and learn what it is about the recreation center here that really motivated him to use its services. Alfred, please take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hello, everyone. My name is Hong Yi, and I go by the name Alfred as well. I was born and raised in Taipei, Taiwan. As an international student who transferred to UCR during my junior year, I came here to pursue a path of becoming a clinical psychologist. Although I study psychology, the brain is not the only thing that I care about. Physical self-care and well-being are crucial parts of my lifestyle, and UCR has just the right place for me. The Student Recreational Center has been the most indulging spot since the moment I came here. This enormous space contains all the equipments you need for weight training and cardio. My favorite thing to do after a long day of class is to take a walk on the treadmill 
while bathing in the sunlight and listening to inspiring words on podcasts. It always helps me to reset my mind and shake off all the stress. Do you like competitive sports? We've got you covered. The SRC not only contains several multi-purpose courts for indoor basketball, soccer, and badminton, but it also provides space for rock climbing, yoga classes, tennis, and many other physical activities. Finally, what's better than enjoy an outdoor pool under the hot sun in California? Whether it's recreational swimming or lap swimming, just look at how much space you've got out here. I always like to take a 30 minute dive whenever the weather heats up. It is the most soothing experience you can get here at UCR. With such a comprehensive facility, UCR allows me to cultivate my physical well-being, so I'm always in my best state while pursuing my goals. I cannot be more proud to be a Highlander. Back to you, Alex. Wow, Alfred, that facility looks impressive. I bet incoming students can't wait to start working out there. From being physically well to keeping mentally and emotionally well, UCR has all the services a student would need for their holistic support. So thank you, Alfred, for sharing some resources for students to take advantage of. Thanks again. And that is it for the University of California, Riverside. I want to thank all the amazing students for sharing their stories with us. With UCR having an impact both near and far, the results of these students' efforts will be felt for a very long time. What an amazing place to be, where students from all walks of life can really make their dreams come true. And with that, we are out of time, but definitely look into UC Riverside if you're looking for a research-focused institution where everyone is able to find a community to be part of. Until next time, everyone, take care.